right so uh, in today's video uh, we will see linkedin login so guys recently linkedin has changed its uh, api and uh, now it has some changes uh, um, than the before code okay so like uh, um, from the uh, if you will try to use a new keys with the old code you will often see this error bummer something went wrong and you can also see this error in the old keys also but uh, uh, in old ones if you will go and see that might be issue because of you have not entered this authorized URL, URL correctly but uh, uh, in a new apps that you create from uh, linkedin so that is a different issue uh, that causes uh, this error okay guys so now what we will do is we will uh, try one new app and then we will see how we can use that now in linkedin okay so we will be giving some name over here and then you have to provide some page name and then we have to provide some privacy url you can use localhost url here so that is not an issue uh, then we will be uploading the logo file and that will be helpful in creating the app so now guys you will notice that uh, earlier you used to get here sign in with linkedin but now we are getting here sign in with linkedin using open id connect so this open id connect is the new thing that linkedin has introduced and for this we have to click on request access and then you will be doing the request access here and then you will go to the settings and came back to the auth screen and here we have the client id and client secret and we have to enter the authorized url over here so i already have that saved so i will just copy over here so this is from the code that i will just show you in the video okay so i will just paste that now we will go to settings and came back to auth and you will see that we have different scopes added here okay so earlier if you try this with old apps then you will see different things here but now we see open id profile and email so these are the new changes that linkedin have uh, came in the new version okay so now we will go to the code part okay so here you have to use different api now so now you just have to use the user info api okay now earlier we used to use the email and light address so that was the um, scopes that we often used but now we have to just use the user info and there's a slight change in the um, view part also so when you call the api so earlier we used to use this our light profile and email address scope so these two scopes it doesn't work nowadays okay because now uh, open id only supports these scopes okay so what change we have to do here is we will be changing the scopes in the button also okay so now i have pasted the new one so here i am passing the open id profile and email scope the same ones which we have here okay and also i will just change the key here because i just created a new one so i will be replacing that rest is the redirect uri now this must this must be matching the thing that you have entered here okay so that is also a step so now we have replaced the client id over here and in the controller part here we will replace the client id and i will also copy the client secret okay so now just see the first api that we are calling is for getting the authorization token and this will be returning the authorization token into this response and then we will be picking the access token from there and calling this user info api for the data and then we will be getting the response in the response to api uh, which executes this uh, user info request so now we will just run the application
so now we will click on the button and then it will be redirecting to the LinkedIn login and here you have to add the account and then when we will um, allow here then it will be redirecting to the same method that we added as authorized URL okay so you can see the code here and then if we run the code so like I told you so the first request it will make will be for the access token and then it will pick the access token and call the user info API so now user info API will return back some data so you can see here we have um, the user data that we need so this is how we can use the open id connect in linkedin so and just two things you have to remember that you have to use the user info api here which was a different uh, api earlier and the second thing is we have to change the scopes here uh, in the url okay so these two things you have to remember and then it will work fine so if you require the code then what you can do is you can go to our official website and we will also provide you a direct link so if the code works then don't forget to subscribe the channel okay so here on the website you will be able to see the linkedin login with open id connect so we will opening that and then here you will see the steps that we have just followed and also you will see the code that i have just used you just have to replace the client id and client secret here and then it will work fine okay so follow the steps guys guys and let us know if you have you are facing any kind of issue so thanks for watching